Oh, and I'm actually actually changing hostels right now. But Jing Dobre, Fishko Dobja, you guys okay? Yaxi Mash. Uh, and I just found my new travel buddy. We kind of look the same. There's a little bit of a difference between us. You can't really notice it that much. Super square. People hang in their laundry. <laughs> like here, people live here. I love it. Perfect. Morning adventure complete. Right now I'm about 20, 25 minutes outside of the center. And the place I'm staying is the place you guys saw. Like it's really nice. And this place is it's nothing like how it is in the center. It's really like I don't even know where I would think I was if I got up here. Like if you just put me right here, I have no idea where I was. But it's like, yeah, another side of Katowice that maybe you guys who live here in Katowice, you've never seen before because you spend your time in the center probably like I would. But wow. Okay, okay so actually found out how to say the name of the city. Uh, you say it, Pchina, Pchina. Uh, it's about 25 minutes or 30 minutes south of here in Katowice. It's supposed to be cool, a little adventure. Why not? <sighs> okay, so finally here at Pchinya. The Polish people laugh at me all you want. It's okay. Pchinya. This is a hard word. There's no like English words like this. P S Z C Z Y N A. There's like one thing I can say also here is the coffee shop at the train station. If you guys come here, stay at the train station for a little while in the coffee shop. Literally 30 minutes in the coffee shop here. Now time to explore. I can't even remember how to say the name of the city. And it is crazy the houses here. Can you guys like see this? Can you guys like see this? the history of this place but just looking up a couple things there's like 25,000 people in the city that's kind of all that's here I think 33,000 if you include the people who live a little bit outside of the center area uh, I believe there is a castle but I must say like the last eight ten minutes I've been walking it's just been so peaceful like I don't know if it's just me or just seeing all the tourists somewhere in the city it kind of takes away the magic a little bit the more tourists the less magic sometimes it feels like and here I don't think they are I don't I don't think there are any tourists here Possibly love at first sight. Possibly love at first sight. It's just so calm and beautiful. Like, can you hear that?
Normally they have it in a lot of languages, but here, <laughs> only in Polish. So not sure who she is, but somebody definitely important. To be, and this has to be one of the most peaceful, quiet cities I've ever seen. This is like the main square here in the center. You have kind of like bars and restaurants all on the sides and all you can hear is like the wind blowing and kids running around playing. Like, I'm impressed with this place. It seems like a nice little quiet place if you guys go to Katowice, come here, get away, uh, and just be in peace. It's just peaceful. And more importantly, there's no tourists. Well, you know, I'm here and I'm with some people, but other than that, there's, there's no tourists. Super, super beautiful. It's calm, it's small. It's the places you go to recharge or if you have some kind of creative projects or creative things you're working on. I mean, not necessarily this city, but cities like this where you can kind of go, you get away, you uh, don't have distractions, you really have to go out of your way to make craziness and you can kind of focus and I'm a big fan of that. And I think that coming here, this place was just what I needed for a little bit of time. Uh, and I have to thank you. I can't. I don't know how to pronounce your name right. That's how you spell it, for telling me about this, for, for inviting me almost. Um, and, and I'm pretty sure by now I haven't met with you yet, but I just wanna say thank you so much. And I guess everyone who's watching this video can thank you as well because uh, I would have not have known about this place or visited and been able to share it with you guys if it wasn't uh, for you showing me this. So thank you again so much. Uh, it is like really nice. I am, I am shocked. brought you guys back here just as a kind of uh, emergency ending because I'm with people and then I'm here and I'm trying to meet up with people as well so when these kind of days happen I always have an idea that I'm gonna let the moment take over sometimes and forget to end the vlog. I want to end it here telling you guys you need a place to come to of course you got to see everything but this place is a nice little recharge place if you want to get away from uh, craziness and loudness and tourists and all that kind of stuff and just kind of have a time to recharge yourself this is definitely the place I don't even know how to say the name of this place um, but I am excited I'm happy that I came here only 25 minute ride from Katowice and uh, yeah kind of on that note I'll speak to you guys all later and everyone always remember oh Patreons podcast crew how you guys doing hope you guys are here a big thank you to you guys and um kind of on that note gonna enjoy the rest of the day wish you guys a great morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world and i'll speak to you guys later and everyone always remember to work hard be brave and don't forget to smile Ciao.